Hello, Aaron. This song is Oracle here with a pop-in collective message. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a collective reading, so this reading may or may not resonate with you. It is not time-specific or sign-specific, so please take the messages that apply and simply leave the rest. Again, I'm taking full advantage of the quiet times, um, so I'm going to be pushing out a second reading to see what wants to come through. Because <laughs> where I'm from, they just love the fireworks. I'm not even going to play. So I'm going to be doing a second reading. This is going to be for the energies of, I would say, early 2024. January 2024, that is my intention. This could be a specific story <laughs> for someone or a collective message. I'm just going to let the cards do the talking. This is a new deck that I got um, a while back. It's called the Unfolding Path Tarot. The illustrations are quite interesting. I'm going to get one of these first. Or two. One. Okay, stay poised. <laughs> I'm hearing remember who you are. <laughs> and imagine the best for yourself so right now it's like you're being maybe challenged to stay poised i heard the word challenged <laughs> so something could be maybe take you off your pedestal because this is someone on a pedestal i always say it's like very graceful energy i'm also hearing don't let anybody take you out of character so there could be someone i don't know or something like a situation that might challenge you <laughs> And you're encouraged to imagine the glass half full as opposed to half, half empty in this season. Okay. Let us see. The stars are aligning. That's what I'm hearing. The stars are aligning. Wow. Nine swords came out. Who's in nine swords, y'all? I hope that's not you now. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. <laughs> There's a special lesson here. Who do you want to be? I'm going to show you these cards. And I'm going to ask you right now, who do you want to be? Who do you rather be? Do you rather be this girl or guy? But in this illustration, it's a girl. Nine swords is anxiety. It is mental torment, nightmares just overthinking the worst or do you want to be the nine of cups that's so crazy how the cards are illustrating what i just said i said imagine the glass half full not half empty this is a, this is thinking of all things half empty and this is thinking of all things half full That scared the living daylight out of me. That's gotta be an iguana because WTF. I don't know if y'all heard that, but it's <laughs> in the dead of night. I hear pitter patters on the rooftop. That is an iguana, 1000%. <laughs> Anyways, are you imagining things go bump in the night? Or are you like, no, it's iguanas and angels? <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Um, but yeah, who do you want to be? Oh gosh, you see the goat man? Listen, this is all about perspective. Your perspective is so important right now. Let me um just get an overall energy. Okay, poised, stay poised. Don't let anybody tip you off of that pedestal. Okay, don't. Bottom of the deck, overall energy, the hierophant, that's God right there. Okay, obviously not right here, <laughs> you know, but it's like, I wonder what he does look like, or she. <laughs> so funny. No, my Hierophant is my God card, okay? Um, it also is a card of spiritual lessons. <laughs> so funny. God, is that you? <laughs> I was just making jokes, y'all. Um, but yeah, it's like doing things in an honorable way. Um staying on the right side of things yes i'm i literally feel a test here i don't know why i feel the test and with the hierophant it's like a soft reminder like to stay on the right side of things does it align with your morals your principles 
your values. Okay, let's see. Three of coins. Ten of cups, seven of swords, page of cups. Oh, wow. There's a fly in one's ointment or a bad apple amongst the bunch, okay? First card is the three of pentacles. This speaks of community, teamwork, those I break bread with, those I work hard alongside. I have the page of cups and the seven of swords to so the ten of cups. Now this is going to be a maybe sensitive or specific message. There's something amongst family or something amongst the community that could in ways tamper with one's future or emotional abundance. It's like I see something reading kind of fake. And that's where someone's discernment is very, very key here. The Seven of Swords is deception. The Page of Cups is like being very nice, opening up conversation, being kind, giving. So there's deception in a person approaching from a community, maybe even the current community. And it's to tamper with maybe one's emotional future or this could be someone in one's family. Or someone who's supposed to be like family. Which is kind of strange. But that's what I'm reading. Let's see. Let's continue. Four swords. I'm hearing a dream. So somebody here could have a dream of significance. I'm also hearing sleep on it. A truth is coming to a person in a dream. I'm also drawn how she is holding on to that blade. Which is like... Swords can be truth. Ace of Swords is the truth. Four of Coins. Yes, someone here, it's like they're going to have an inner knowing to hold back. The Four of Coins is holding on to what you've got. Listen, tell me more. Ooh, this is kind of interesting. Justice. This is, this is to balance things out. It's almost like the Divine wants to help balance something out for a person. Okay. And this sort of truth that the divine is giving a person. For some of you, it's a confirmation that comes about from a dream you've had before or from a vision or from something a person or maybe a prophet said like, this kind of reads like this truth is going to bring balance about a deceptive energy amongst you that could affect your emotional future in some way. Or your family, your abundance, those closest to you, your happiness. There's some kind of shift here, a truth that is coming. This is kind of interesting, death. It's a transformational truth. So this could even cause endings amongst relationships with people that you maybe once thought you could trust, okay? It's almost like it's weeding out the negativity. It's weeding out the bad apples, allowing room for that to happen. I have an emperor here, and what is this card that was left behind the Knight of Wands? It's encouraging somebody to act upon it though. Why is the death card here? This just feels like an ending to a relationship with a person of significance. I have a king of pentacles and two of pentacles. I'm getting the energy of a person who has been back and forth on whether or not um, they should maybe continue investing in something. It's like I'm in two minds about it. Two of Pentacles is doubt. King of Pentacles could be a person who's like a provider or someone who's a caretaker or um, this is someone who could be like either an employer, um, a parental figure, a caretaker, a main person in charge, financial giver, something of that nature. I see somebody in two minds about a person and this truth I don't know why, but this truth coming forward about a deceptive individual brings about justice and balance in a situation. And it's like, don't let this situation take you out of character, remain poised, but it's like, look at the group, look at who you surround yourself with, make decisions according to 
your future, your emotional future. I'm also getting, you see how this card has children in it? It's like, would you want this person around your kids? That's kind of what I'm hearing. I don't know why I'm getting that vibe. It's like, this is the, the, the weirdest part is this person who they're getting this truth about seems nice and like trusting, but that's part of the act. And this is not everyone's reading, but it'll be relevant to someone who has been in two minds about a person that they are wondering if they should trust or not. It's kind of weird that it's here. This is also somebody um, they're wondering if they should maybe give an opportunity to. So maybe they're in two minds about a person. Someone could have also given an individual ill advice, like, oh, don't give this opportunity to someone. It's about whether or not they should give an opportunity to someone. Tell me more about the deception. Where? What is the deception about? <laughs> that card. You saw what that card did? I'm grabbing it. Three of Swords. Yo. Whatever the deception is, it is absolute heartache. Three Swords is like emotional pain, deception, third party betrayals. <laughs> My phone just buzzed third party betrayals now third party betrayals don't always have to be oh this person's cheating on me no a third party betrayal is they're basically sleeping with the enemy or they're involving your enemy it could be a third party betrayal in many ways not just romantic this is like what the heck why would they oh five of swords it's like someone wanting to be on the winning team quote unquote winning team there's someone around who's ever reading this is for who their loyalty is not with the person. This almost even reads like an employer. I'm not even I'm not even gonna front. This reads like someone who's in charge. And they have a person in their corner who reads like an, a butt kisser. And it's like this butt kisser is so deceptive because they are dealing with someone who has it out for you. And you had a dream about them. That dream was supposed to bring balance in your world so that you don't take them with you wherever you're going or so that you don't give them a golden opportunity you've had waiting for them. This is so weird. It's like whoever this is, they're in a position to give something to a person. This is this King of Pentacles. They have been back and forth on whether or not they should give to this person. This could be money. This could be... A financial opportunity this could be an inheritance or something it's like oh i have this much money let me give it to you because i know and it's like they're so deceptive because they have literally been playing both sides of the field they have literally maybe even been giving information to a person who's trying to have the upper hand in your life and it's like what and it's like you either consider this person family or they're like family to you so it's like it hurts it hurts and for some, yeah, this is a lover. It's giving Samson and Delilah, <laughs> if that's the case. But it's like, oof. Sorry more about justice. Knight of Wands. You'll get justice if you take action. You'll get justice if you act on what the vision was trying to tell you. You'll get justice if you fight against this. The Five of Wands is conflict, but it's like, you need to act on this. You can't. It's almost like the Divine doesn't want to see this this good person give something to an individual because it's aiding to the already existing imbalance. So let's say you're giving to a crook. Yeah, upstairs is going to be like, wow, look at this person giving to this crook continuously. They're unaware that they're giving to a crook. Let's send them a dream. Let's give them a vision so that they're aware they're giving to a crook. Oh, okay, so now I'm aware I'm giving to a crook, but it's just a dream. This person's my homie, this person's blood, this person's my lover, this person loves me. Yeah, no, <laughs> this is a very specific message. And it's like, they're trying to seek justice in giving you this dream and providing you this truth, however it comes to you. And you've ignored it. Whoever this is for, it's kind of specific. You've ignored it. You're going back and forth on whether or not you should give them this. And spirit isn't having it. 
<laughs> the powers that be are like, no, something needs to come to an end. But there is deception and there is disappointment. And I feel like someone here is aware that they've been giving to the wrong person. I feel like this they bless this person greatly. Do you see how this is hands giving with gifts and coins? They've blessed this person so much. That's why the shock is heavy. It's like I gave this person an arm and a leg. I gave this person maybe on their birthdays, maybe all kinds of stuff. I gave this person so much, but gifts don't buy loyalty. Money doesn't get you loyalty. Someone here is so crooked. <laughs> and <laughs> it's a very specific reading. This is something that it's like, oof, they've been given to the wrong people. And that's the biggest problem here. This is someone who has been continuously giving to the wrong people. Wow. Spirit wants to see it come to an end. The Eight of Cups is turning one's back. It's like, goodbye. I don't know if they're going to start giving to themselves or with the Ace, that's the Divine giving us something. When I see the Ace of Pentacles, it's like, that's God given. It could be a new job, a new environment, a new lease on life. Someone is turning their back. Someone here is turning their back. That's the biggest gift they, they have given themselves. It's turning their back on people who... It, it, the betrayal is so deep here. Ooh. Four of Cups. It's like, that's like, they're not satisfied. And not, not only that, it's like they've been giving to people who don't fill their cups. Um, who maybe have been giving them like fake love, fake admiration, fake support. It is fake because if you're fraternizing with the enemy, it is most definitely fake. Someone here is so outraged. I don't know how they found it out, but the divine has been trying to low key tell them like, hey, yo, you are giving to basically a Peter Judas. It's giving Judas. Three of Swords. Why is it hurt so much? What did they see? So this could be a feminine involved. Five Coins, Page of Swords. There was somebody who could have been spying on a person. There could have been someone very sweet who could have used an individual who is maybe a dusty. I'm just going to say it for what it is. A dusty to spy on someone. There is someone who is in lack. Okay financial lack now maybe they have all kinds of stuff but in their brain they always need more money someone used a very lackluster person to spy on another individual and report back to them very specific reading the page of source is a spy the page of source is someone who collects information who's very curious the five of pentacles speaks for itself a dusty it's someone who's like i could use the money Okay, so it's almost like this person's loyalty goes to the highest bidder. Okay, this person gives you, I don't know, five coins, I can give you six. But there's more to it. <laughs> Maybe they are emotionally into the person that they were spying for. That's what this reads like. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Nine Swords. This is somebody who's in a state of torment. Someone used another person to spy because there's like, they don't know, they want to know. Oh my gosh. This betrayal is getting someone sacrificed, but also it's like not just, oh man, I don't even know how to explain it other than the Five of Swords is needing to win at all costs, but it's like someone is feeling defeated because they're getting like 
cut off as a result. Someone could have also been like put aside, like maybe there's someone who doesn't trust another individual and that's why they use the spy to find out. This is very strange. Three of Cups, community people, friends, family, third parties. Oh, I know so-and-so. This is someone's friend, someone's community person causing fights. Yes, this is multiple people involved. Three is a crowd. It's so sad because it's like, this is a friend. <laughs> this is somebody I thought I could trust who is basically part of this brawl now because here I thought I was, I'm here, I was so good to them. What the heck is this? This is a very strange reading. The divine is like, we told you. We told you. We tried to tell you. This is someone who isn't giving up on themselves though this so the main person here the the main character isn't giving up on themselves there is a lesson of self in here nine 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 let's read what that means nine of swords <laughs> nine of wands nine of cups okay let's grab that angel number i think i've seen it recently completion and new beginnings it urges trust in the process of life brings closure to relationships and careers and encourages reflection and growth embracing change practicing non-resistance and remaining open-hearted are key it's associated with completion current situations are coming to an end in order for new opportunities to present themselves the fool i can't make it up it's like deuces. <laughs> How did they find this out though? Like I'm so, the tower, oh my gosh. It's so shocking. It's like, I, I don't know what this, this is a very big lesson for someone. It's like, wow, this person might've been your friend for so long. This person could have been your best man, your, what did it call that? Bridesmaid, I don't know. <laughs> it's a yo. Ooh, we have a boss. I said there's a there's an employer around. Did I not say that? It says boss, entrepreneur, married, divorcee, daddy, big. <laughs> the card says big dick. Shout out to Tasha <laughs> from my possible. We have sacrifice, spell work, black magic, kitchen magic, candle work, or an altar. Now I don't know about this stuff. This could definitely be in here. Maybe someone, you know what, sacrifice. Maybe someone wanted to sacrifice a person or just like get them in trouble. Or do energy work. Yes, no, there is energy work in here as well. Wow. So they were part of a group who was had it out for this person. They could have had them doing energy work to them, which is not completely wild because a lot of people in power positions, they're like so sad but it's so true when people are in a position of power even financially they're some of the like main people who get spiritually attacked because if they can bend an emperor if they can control an emperor it's like they feel like they're on top that's it, that's what it was about someone here was in this space they had a level of power to them and someone who's a friend who is insecure of themselves feeling beneath this person it's like i'm gonna side with their enemies so that i become more superior than them there's someone here who's very insecure about their dusty behavior that they were like bet i'm going to side with their enemy it's like look at this you have one person in this position looking very snatched in that suit might i add and then you have this dusty who's like okay that person has no integrity. That person has no sense of loyalty. That person has no sense of anything. That's why it's like, it could take you out of your character to get mad at this person, but just recognize that it's like, look how low they stoop to go against you. All you need to know is to end what this was and leave it at that, nothing more. This is someone who can directly affect your emotional future or your family. This is someone who's too close for comfort. 
and this is how they've been acting that's why spirit is like you can't move into your new year's transition or your new phases right because the new year's is just a date <laughs> but it's like the energy is also very new year like it's it's new beginnings energetically is what i mean and this energy can make it there that's why i see somebody like saying you know what good riddance i cared a lot about you is what i'm hearing they cared a lot about this person this could have been a friend family lover sweet nothings ish talker tells you what you want to hear they just told this person what they want to hear i am a cool cool yeah of course of course yeah totally i got you <laughs> it's gimmick i got you quid pro quo a favor for a favor tit for tat give and take you scratch my back i'll scratch yours this is someone who did favors for an enemy y'all they're so easy to bend i feel for money it's like, so how much are you going to give me for that? That's what this gives. How much are you going to... Mm, how much money are we talking? It's a circus. It's a joke. We have newborn, rebirth, innocence, purity, fresh pair of eyes, birth to new ideas. Sunshine, happiness, illuminate, illumination, brighter days ahead in the spotlight. This is literally somebody who is literally being born again. I'm not necessarily getting like well when you get newborn to me it's like in this case born again that could have something to do with someone's deception here i can't imagine that let's see what do we need to know about the toxicity we have stalker what did i say someone's basically been hired to watch a person and they're close to them my stalking ability surprised me. I'm that good. <clears throat> I hate how you light up their world. As they say, once a cheater, always a cheater. Someone here could have been unfaithful. There's deception around not being faithful, though. Whether in a platonic way or a romantic way. I have one too many skeletons in my closet. This is someone who pretends to be sweet. I refuse to be a single parent. There's something here it could be about a child. That's kind of what I wanted to look at because I was like, why did I get the newborn card? In some ways, this is like a rebirth when I get the death card. But also there could be some kind of a mix up or lies coming out about a child, okay? Because I <laughs> can't make it up. I pointed out the children in this card, did I not? I don't really care to point out details unless it's relevant in a reading, but I'm seeing a little bit of that. So maybe there's something about a person here and a child um, that that is significant. And didn't I not say that? I said something about, would you want this person around your children? Why did I say that? Everything I say <laughs> matters. It's out here twice. Something about a child is here, a baby for some even. Can we get answers about that? Someone here could have... Ooh, stop. Whatever this heartbreak is, I feel like a person told on another individual. Someone told another person the truth. Can I confirm that? Because it reads like... I'm like, how did they find out though? Because it's like the divine can send you messages. This person was in denial. I feel denial. But then they got the truth they were hurt to find out this was the person i'm reading on this is the main character like what <laughs> that hurts okay can i get more now this deception can look differently for all because this is a general reading okay this is back this is so significant i have the queen of cups twice they're saying it has something to do with this person why is the Queen of Cups twice from two different decks? The deception has something to do with a person who is a feminine energy 
who the divine has judgment on or is calling judgment towards. It's like you need to do something or this is a person. It's a person. There's outrage around a person. Could be a water sign. We have temperance and the death card. Side message. Someone here could have also been getting like messages from the other side from a passed on loved one who's a female. That's for some of you. Death, temperance, angel. What else do we need to know? That kind of shot out. Yeah. It's like they regret to have to close the cycle out. But the fact that this person, the deception with this person. Again, Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I have fixed signs, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Temperance is a Sagittarius, Aries. And someone here could have also done something energetically. But I want to know a little bit more about what the deception was about, the moon. Pisces are Cancer energy, again with the Moon card, but this fell on top of someone has hidden intentions. Someone had a hidden plan. That's what the Moon represents as well. Okay, Two of Pentacles, Three Swords, Seven Wands. It's a person they have their doubts about. Now they have their guards up towards because the pain hurts. I'm still trying to figure out what they did though. They were in denial about ending this situation. I also heard some about blood on their hands. I don't know why I heard that, but someone is like a culprit in something. And it obviously doesn't have to be literal, guys. But it's like when you're caught red-handed, it's like you got blood on your hands. You are part of a very, very big deal. In having it out for someone. The goat man. Whatever this is, it's pretty dark. So it's like not even the <laughs> spirit wants to talk about it. The four of coins is, I don't want this out. It's also possessiveness. Greed is in here as well. But with the goat man, it's just diabolical. It's evil. Someone here had ill intent. And that's being judged. And that's why spirit is like, I can't have you. I'm hearing it. Someone's ancestor spirit, guys, is like, we can't have you give to this situation a day more. You need to find out the truth. You're going to find out the truth. I feel like this person had a dream about it, but it's like now it got confirmed. Someone here could have blackmailed another person or just showed them anonymously what a person was about. A truth came to this person. And it's like, they're like, how evil could you be to be a part of this? Not only that, but someone close to them was a part of it as well. That was someone whose loyalty was just like, per the highest bidder. But also, I get this, <laughs> I just get a vibe of that person was envious anyway. So they're so bendable to submit to their enemy. Damn. Can't make it up. Whoever paid this person... This is the Dusty. There is a Dusty whose loyalty can just be bought like that. Yeah, that's not a friend. Spirit is just confirming they were paid good money. Good money. I'm hearing negotiated. Greed bent this person's loyalty. That's the Dusty down there. And this person was like, sure, I'll give you money if you do this, if you deceive your friend, your lover, your whatever. This is a very specific reading. It's justice for this person to find out about who was working against them all along, five of wands. So this person can take a leap of faith and turn their back on people who can't make it <laughs> beyond that point with them. Tower. This message was a tower. They were informed. For some of you, anonymously. This for some of you has something to do with a child as well. Okay. I say that because I saw the Ace of Cups when I split the deck. This is a tower moment. Um, my stomach is turning a little bit. It's sad. That's so sad. We're at what, 35 minutes? 
let's get the word out. listen i'm having so much fun with tasha's decks it's not even funny this is another fabulous deck of hers check out i'm possible she has her decks either i mean she should have launched them or it's to be launched but definitely check them out her decks are perfect for this occasion definitely <clears throat> straight and arrow well like morals by the book this is the main character that i'm picking on but when i tell you there was a friend or someone close to them that they thought was like oh no, this person is my person my friend my bro my sis i don't know what it is uh, but it's like this is this is someone who from the top of the reading i said do things the right way end this in a way where you'll be proud of yourself and the way you walked away you know you, you can't fight fire with fire just walk away because i don't really i'm not a person who likes revenge i'm not i don't retaliate okay there's a difference between defending yourself but i i'm not one to retaliate okay vengeance is for god i say some people might disagree but in cases like this i promise you the losses are the 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 vengeance are the loss they experience is in your absence. Whoever you are, you gave an arm and a leg to this person. And it's like, <laughs> their loss is losing you. Value yourself enough to see that. Value yourself enough to recognize that the only vengeance <laughs> you need is the loss of you in their life. seriously you don't need vengeance you don't need to fight fire with fire god finds balance in telling you the truth so that you can exit out of their life take the leap of faith and let them feel the loss by having betrayed you and you no longer being there for them the way you have been <laughs> whoever this is for because you were straight with this person you were always doing things in a correct way for this person. You were doing your best for this person. You were a friend. I feel this was this was a very close person. That's why the deception, the pain runs so deep. But it's like the divine finds balance in you being removed from their life. So honor that. Move through that. Don't waste your, try your time trying to seek vengeance. Vengeance is for God. Allow him to balance out the energies part of it was telling you the truth but you ignored it so it came to you in another way that's what i feel <laughs> i'm straight channeling y'all this person is going to be wilding out they're going to be bugging out because they are found out this person thought they would never be found out someone ratted them out though i feel or something came to light we have an older woman who enjoys younger men somebody here who is oh look <laughs> you see how this person has money in hand you know what i'm seeing oh stop reject the dub the dusty <laughs> was bought over for some of you by an, a woman who's older that's for a specific set of you when i get the cougar it's like this is someone who's like well, I'll give you money if you do this and the third. Maybe that's who they're explaining. That could be the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups could be the Cougar, y'all. The Queen of Cups could be the Cougar. Maybe this is someone who used the person younger than them or just immature. It's like, you're immature enough for me to pay off. <laughs> I'll pay you. The Queen of Cups had a hidden agenda. It could be a female who did this who acts like a cougar it's like i'll pay you for favors denied reject cast out for some of you it's like on a bad day this person is like hey i'll buy you over crooked cards wow push your wig back from the streets about it a thug means what they say this is someone who dealt with a person who is maybe had a hard life. Like 
when you have people in lack mentality it's like you can take them out of their circumstances but the mentality still still remains for a lot of them so it's the kind of person who i don't know how to explain it other than you can give them a better life or you can give them better circumstances but that doesn't mean their mindset isn't from what they were i really feel that here this is someone who is from a rough background so their lack mindset remains five coins so they'll do whatever they gotta do for money that's what it feels like suspicious sneaky and dishonest that was this person they had a mask on the whole time cool good chill it's like yeah we're cool yeah we're good no no any last words here a low life unkept lazy the skunk alcoholic drunk overindulges for some of you this is just the characteristics of the person the dusty and again this could be a woman or a man it's someone who they're reckless they don't it's like they'll 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 take money for whatever maybe to feed their addictions their i don't know it's like they're always i don't know how to explain it all but this is what they're it's like their character is it's all over them you were just in denial of it sets you up backstabber will do you dirty you just didn't whoever this is you you did not want to see what they were capable of and I've been there. I've had a friend where it's like, oh, I know they have their dark ways, but they would never do it to me. <laughs> I know that that person is a little bit, you know, but I know them for so long. They would never be like that with me. Oh, I learned. <laughs> I learned. Oh my God. It's like, I know this person for 10 plus years. There's no way they would do that to me. Oh, I learned envy <laughs> doesn't care who long how what family blood or not it doesn't care okay it doesn't care hmm? <sighs> soul's journey lessons please before i close this one out this one was kind of painful courage you need courage for this maybe some confidence to do this transition to cut this energy out Peace, I'm a being of love and I release all negative energy and people. This is the only way you get your peace back. But not only that, but for the sake of, I keep hearing your family. I don't know why. Your future, your emotional future, your relationships, your family, your loved ones, people who are close to you. And again, don't take this if this is not your reading. Because I don't need people like bug, bugging out. This is a story that already exists. It's not necessarily a future prediction. It feels like you had a dream about it already. Yeah, you've been indecisive about this. But it's like, no. <laughs> you, you'll figure it out soon enough, if not already. Because it's all, I just get this eerie energy of the divine or your ancestors being so sick of seeing you give to this person. It's like, Hah! yin, a giver. Now, this is about receiving, okay? Yes. Emotional abundance. I feel like you you are transitioning. The rainbow speaks of transitions to milk and honey are the riches of the soul. It's like you're going to a place where you will have a lot of emotional fulfillment. And um, that's why this is getting cleared out. You can't have grimy people around you. I keep hearing something about your family, your loved ones. This person is so close, it's vile. <sighs> this is weird. It's like, I, I don't know why, but it's like, I wouldn't trust this person around me, my kids, my dog, my this. <laughs> it's like anything that matters to you. You shouldn't have this person close. They're, I, these words are quite harsh, but yeah, it says low life. They're, they're willing to do anything if they get paid for it. What does that mean? 
to you, especially if you have offspring, if you have close family, they're grimy. It's like, no, I wouldn't want them within two feet from my kids. <laughs> it's an obvious. And whoever this is has literally been giving an arm and a leg to this person. That's why it's so shocking to me. Yes, yeah, Spirit is like, it's time to go. Go. Leave this person behind. It's like, there's a state of confusion about the future and building that new foundation. But it's like, you can't be messing with this person, particularly from your old one. Because they're literally, I keep hearing, either they're sleeping with the enemy. They're doing dealings for the enemy. They were bought over by the enemy. They spy for the enemy. This is budged up. So as painful as it may be, see this as a blessing. This is just urging you to leave. I would feel so grateful to get a revelation about a person who's literally here. It's like too close for comfort, but I give to. Yes, your happiness could even require like a, a, a change in circumstance or like location. A change in the wind happiness. This is meant to happen. This is the divine pushing your bus forward, okay? So I'm going to leave it there. Um, obviously, it's not everybody's reading. Health problems. A synchronicity could be that this person... There are literally timestamps here. One thirty, one forty-five. Somebody here could have had a recent doctor's visit. This person could have watched you. Something about your medical records. This is sickening. <laughs> this says I watch your social media obsessively, but this is this is about your medical records. This person even went so close as to look at your medical records. They went to look at what time you checked in somewhere. Okay. They're they're envious, but it's also like you couldn't be bothered with the truth. You didn't you didn't see this person for who they are. This is over. This is over. Something about medical records as well could out something for some of you, but medical records are important. It says a doctor's visit is of utmost importance, but I heard medical records and I'm seeing somebody looking at something and it's done. This is done. <laughs> it's like, you are done to me. They have this person like a puppet on a string, y'all. It's like, I'm just oblivious to this. So sad. It's so sad when this happens to good people. But it happens all the time. So be wise. Use your discernment. Don't ignore the signs. Don't ignore when God gives you a revelation. Trust that figure it out because you could literally be surrounded by a wolf in sheep's clothing like it happens all the time okay so that's what i have for you if this reading resonated please don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time bye